and welcome to um not the moonstone matriarchy to the iowan adventures uh world created and ruled by the fae i'm jessica i also go by i sneeze stars online in places like tiktok and instagram and i will be your shenanigan sovereign this evening i'm going to run you through our games that we have on the channel and then hand it over to our players so uh, Monday nights, obviously, Iowan Adventures. Tuesday nights, we have the State of the Union, a Shadowrun campaign uh, GM'd by uh, Cottlesworth, featuring myself and Daniel at 7.30 p.m. EST. Uh, Thursdays, we have the Lost Continent at 8 p.m. EST, G uh, DM'd by Mr. Markham. Friday nights, we have the Legends of Kralis at 11 p.m. EST, a TTRPG created and GM'd by Telerius Game Master. And Saturday nights, not this coming Saturday because we only play three Saturdays a month, is uh, the Moonstone Matriarchy at 8 p.m. EST, DM'd by myself. I lost my voice there while I was talking. Um, don't forget to follow us on TikTok and YouTube and Discord or whatever and um Pi, please, for the love of God. I'm Pyrea. Uh you can find me on all the socials as Pyrea. Um I will be playing Alewin Elanthris, the chronology wizard tonight. Um yeah. Let's go uh to my let's go diagonal to Caro. Hello. I just almost caught a bug in my office and I missed it. And now there's a bug in my office still. So I'm moderately oh, distracted. No. I'm Caro. Hello. You're bugging um, out. Eh, yeah. Um, I'm Imaginary Caro on TikTok and Corner Caro in other places. And I will be Gilly. And that's who I am. Um, James. Hi, I'm James. Uh, <laughs> most notably across the internet, right here on on Dan Denial, because I'm not important anywhere else. <laughs> Barely even important here, let's be honest. But tonight oh, I play a Rev Days Arc. What? Our... What? Huh? What right? did you just say? Suddenly we're just gonna we're Sir, just gonna put this everywhere. Everywhere. Sir? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. No, 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 You are no, very no, important I'm, to this game. I'm Pass one, your face. One of, one of five. One Pass of five. five. Good vibes. Good vibes. You're very good important. Good vibes. Yeah. There we go. I'm, you got saying, pulled off. I'm saying you're also nice my important. friend James. What? You be nice to my friend James. <laughs> or we're going to have Hello. an issue. Good. It's just my inner BEG escaping the cage I have him rattled in because I haven't been allowed to play D&D like in months. Inner BBEG? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, so now that he's been defeated by the power of friendship. <laughs> Hi, I'm James. The important. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, tonight I'll be playing Arev Deazark, our Circle of Stars Druid, or potentially... Um, Varian Arbor, this sort of smarmy storm sorcerer that shares a body with him. Uh, depending. Who knows? Uh, so uh, stay tuned. Find out. Uh, find me other places on the internet as Mazrix or Mazrix24. I usually use one of those two as aliases. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of it for me. Uh, go check out the Moonstone Matriarchy on Saturdays, just not this Saturday because my wife's in it. She's amazing. There. Boom. I'm done. So proud of you. Daniel. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan. You can find me as the Speed of Candy on all of the various internet places. Uh, tonight, I will be playing Damascus Silva, the half-elf bod warlock who just bonded with the god inside him. Formerly inside <laughs> him. We'll see how that goes. Because it'll be interesting. Also, uh, just because just forgot, we here on d and Denial are part of a charity. I didn't forget. Oh, First are you going to do it? Fuck okay. you. I was I gonna do it before that before we did the recap, but no 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 okay. go ahead. No, no, go no, ahead. No 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 no, no 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Uh I, we I, are raising money for Doctors Without Borders, who is a fantastic, wonderful, amazing, awesome organization supporting just all manner of people in need around the world. And you should definitely absolutely uh help join us. Uh, We've just wait, I posted teams. the link. <laughs> I've posted the link in the chat. We are on different teams, but both Daniel and myself. No, wait. No, we're not. We're on different You're on teams. the red team. I'm on the red team. You traitorous bastard. Okay. So what you want to do is donate to the green team because fuck those guys. Uh, yep. The red team is the worst and do it for red the team. vine. Um, <laughs> it doesn't matter actually who you donate. 
it all goes to Gaza in the end, and that's what matters. But if you were so inclined to help the green team win, we would love you forever. Uh, we just hit, yeah, we just hit 21K. Uh, we mm -hmm. actually didn't just hit it. We're past it. We're at, uh, I think we've, we're $600, $600 past that. Almost Correct. at, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, Listen, if anyone out there would like to rate to help us, like no name TTRPG creators raise half as much to half as much as Critical Role donated to help oh, Gaza. I mean, it's come more on. Than half at this point. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's great. Yeah, because they, they did. They donated 50. 000? They did. They donated oh, did 50, they? 25 okay. to two different places. And oh, if we could do okay, okay. half of that, I mean, come on. They're like yeah. a, mil a multi million dollar company. Come on, that's pretty great. But there's over there's about a hundred creators now working to do this, and it's been awesome. So yes, there will be more links posted throughout the uh, throughout the game, and we'll talk about it again at the end as well. Um, James, I I know that you just ate a chip, and I saw <laughs> that. Um, I'll wait. Okay, I'll, Don't buy, worry. I'll buy you a minute. If you do donate, you can get art from Jess. Or uh, one shot from me. Both of which could be fun, maybe? Donate, do it. We're so proud of James. <laughs> but I mean, why? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> you existed, and that's enough for us. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, here we go with uh, the recap of last session. <clears throat> you have to introduce yourself first. No, I did introduce myself. Oh, okay. He did. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. It was earlier when y'all... He did. Well, just interrupted and then you him went. On, like a brat. Sorry. When, when, you, <laughs> when you love bombed me. Oh, yeah. I remember that. That happened like five minutes ago. It's okay. See, I just reminded my one of my best friends that like when he was talking about himself, that it was uh, relevant. And then he's like, oh, I remember now. It's not I'm worried about you. I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I, uh, thanks for that, best friend, um, because I'm a terrible human being and forgot that it was my turn to even do notes, and I'm going to roast myself here. Uh, I'm going to do my best to recollect due to him. So uh, here we go with notes from not last week, last session. <clears throat> last time we played the Ion Adventures, we had episode... I believe 78, 78, yes. Oh my gosh, we're getting so close to 100. Yes, 100% raisin. Um, we were following hot on the heels at the beginning of the session of one of the most dramatic uh, points, um, pun there on points for the next thing, of getting stabbed through the chest uh, of our lovely sun goddess, Beloth. Uh, who has been the light and the life and the breath of the world and everything that is good and holy. And she was really in love with Dan for like quite a while and um, and bomb. And I mean, he kind of like just royally screwed that up, uh, especially because he was supposed to get married to her, but then went, nah, bitch, I like this one. And like fell in love with Faza instead. And so, I mean, there's all that drama going on. But anyways, she's like stabbed. And so uh, we had just returned from what's effectively the hells thrown a few seconds back into time onto these three platforms in the sky amongst uh, the, an ancient tree of power that lies within the heart of Rhea. This is, this is from my memory. I haven't used the notes yet. And we got thrown back in time to this platform where all hell basically broke loose and we were confronted with several very sinister figures um, and a horde, an absolute thronging mass of, I'm going to call them undead, I don't think that's technically correct, of like soulless, raving tieflings that had been corrupted from their normal selves due to a terrible process that's going on by Esme. Evil Esme. As uh, Dan noted, the evil symbiote girl but across from the heroes platforms uh because we got scattered so there was one platform with half of us and another platform and a horde of undead between us 
there were these three figures standing across. One was Esme. One was some other tiefling that we didn't particularly know. And then the other one was Edwin Arbor, a figure from uh, my past, or from, I guess, Varian's past, who is the soul that is stuck inside of a Rev's body. And we, with, like, a small word inside of a Rev's soul from Varian to a Rev, basically saying, I'm not there, but, like, can you please just go fuck him up for me? Uh, my DM graciously allowed a Rev some sorcery points, being super boosted by the sorcerer who is inside my druid soul. And, um... <laughs> so I'm laughing. I'm laughing at chat. Chat is good. <laughs> and then we just started busting through combat. I remember there being walls of walls of radiance being thrown up, uh, walls of force from uh, like a, a laywind just like blasting things back. Um, winter being winter, Caro just like absolutely get uh, not Caro. Carol, you are so synonymous to me with Gilly that I just like <laughs> Carol Gilly. It's like the same thing in my head. Uh, I'll take Gilly, it. <laughs> Gilly Gilly and our wondrous uh, Aussie happy source of positivity. Um, hashtag positive queen. Like just raging through uh, the, the hordes of undead, challenging in there before she gets scooped up and picked across the platform by a transmogrified talon who is no longer a dragon and his his beautiful sexy high elf form floating through the sky and just tons of NPCs happened and then stress happened and then so much more fighting and till finally oh yes no we're getting there as the fight was coming to like a tantamount ultimate moment Damascus delivered a speech and I, I'm gonna read it because it's here in the notes <laughs> Um, but we got a Damascus of a your minions just tried to eat my girlfriend. You stabbed your sword through the heart of my goddess. And sure, you might be a big, bad, scary demon lord. No question, you're bigger and tougher than me. But size and toughness don't win fights, Edwin. You know what does? Conviction. And I got more conviction than you could imagine. Now drop your sword. Uh, as he cast, I think, command to like drop his he weapon. Heat metal. He he heat metal. metal the crystal yes, heat metal. Sword. <laughs> and Edwin just sat there doing what doing one of these. What is back and forth because the sword <laughs> was so made good. out of crystal and it was one of like the best drop speech. Uh, was that a good Damascus? <laughs> it was so funny. Thanks. Oh, that was such a good moment. It was so good, so good. Uh Gilly had a great moment with uh, casting one of her cool warlock abilities, uh, protection from good and evil, protecting Faza, which came in super clutch because these zombies meant business. They were like horde grabbing like thousands of hands at a time. Uh, the DM even terrified us, telling us we were going to take something like 100 D8 damage at a swipe or some nonsense. Like if we were getting sucked they, down by this horde of zombies. They nat 20 okay? Oops. So it would have been a lot. I'm just saying it was terrifying it would have been and if you had died they would have actually ripped you apart mm -hmm. awful in the best way. <laughs> in the best way uh i i wish i could remember the tantamount moment of who got what and who killed who but you know what you're just gonna have to go back and watch it it was an amazing fight please go back and uh, enjoy that uh but once it was gone through and Esme and the rest had fallen and the rest of the, the Horde of Undead stopped being puppeted. We, oh, wait, there is one last thing before. Um, <laughs> Alewin playing pass the ball with poor Renanel, who was just like <laughs> off the side of a tree because Edwin, that son of a dirt bag, uh, picked up cute little Renanel and tried to drop him off a tree. But Alewin was like, nope time skip and just like popped him out of existence for a second and then an entire round came back and then he popped in and the rest of us who were fighting for our lives went oh yeah that's a thing and Alea went like time skip and this happened like five times where <laughs> she's really like the funny. only one playing past the ball keeping this poor kid suspended in midair and not dying until a clutch moment when I think uh, a rev called across to Callum and asked him to grab Renanel and there was this peak moment where, like, I'd, 
a, a they role still when... needed to be saved by Elaine because they were going over the side together. That's yeah, true. And, and then I a, had a chronal shift. And yeah. Elaine finally like chronal shifted them, and then it just like shifted time enough that Calvin could pull Renanel back onto the tree. Oh, so clutch. Such a good moment. There was two there was so so much magic used to keep this poor kid alive. Um I say poor kid as if he's not a Rebs, you know, boyfriend, but uh whatever. <laughs> Um, and yes, uh, Damascus feeds the soul became Bombascus, as we've been calling him. I don't know whether that will stick, but we have Bombascus so <laughs> far. Uh, we descended down the tree and we found at the bottom the elder druid herself, um, huddling over the body of Beloth and hundreds of zombies just scattered in rays of like decimation around her, uh, indicating that she was the one, in fact, who was keeping them back and saving our butts from the, the horde even coming up the tree, um, Tamina starts shows up, and she uh, tries to fix it, but fails, uh, ending up genuinely crying for probably the first time in her existence. And we have been on the hunt for the tear from a god or goddess, and she seems to know that as she scooped it up and delivered it to uh, Bamascus. Uh, but almost immediately after we saved that tear... Evil Beloth shows up, and she is clutching that damn crystal sword that we all forgot to actually take hold of. This is bad. She turns to Ella, seems to know her. We're going to dig into that, I think, a little bit today. Mm -hmm. uh, she also told Damascus that uh, he has deals with Beloth. The original, the OG, the nice one. Uh, so therefore, he actually still has deals with her, the evil one, and then disappears. Apparently, we have to not forget to ask the tree about getting some bark. <laughs> for our talk, potion. <laughs> uh, yeah, you need, tree for, you need bark from the first tree, uh, freely given. Freely given, yeah. Into it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be like, hot tree, we just saved you. Can I have some bark? Sometimes bark falls off of trees. Okay. Maybe we can yeah. just Sometimes. look around the base. As long as we're not barking up the wrong tree. Hey. God damn it, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you guys have finished your fight. Um, the party is split. Some people are on top. Some people are at the bottom. Bella, I think. Uh, didn't we come down at the very end? At the end, like, we all. Yeah, not, we just yeah. like. I don't, okay, we made don't it know down the tree. You left, did you, Ella? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you I were did. Up there because... talking. You were up there talking with Talon and. Right, but then we came down when uh, Evil Belloth showed up because she was like, "Ah, there you are." Okay. 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 Uh, cool. Yeah. 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 Okay. So. No. no, was she like that? You she weren't just there. Sensed you. You were oh. there. You were up. At the oh, top. he oh. felt you here. <gasps> but she doesn't. I hate that even more. <laughs> yeah, no, she doesn't know you. You, you were. You didn't come down. You were still up there. Yeah. She she hasn't found you yet. Mm -hmm. Great. How concerning. Yeah. Mm. Um. Okay. Nah. So we'll come back in actually. Where with Alewin, Talon, uh, Callum, and Rhinanel up at the top. Stressed. <laughs> the last thing that happened is that you called Talon his real name. And oh, yeah. he is now nose to nose almost with you. He is standing in front of you. He looks you up and down. Gives you like a bit of a, a smell almost. Sees that tattoo that ru that's run up your yeah it's... the side of your neck uh, of his, his tattoo, and I don't know who you are, but if you repeat that name again, it will be the last thing you ever do.
didn't say it to anyone else. I said it to you on purpose. What else would have convinced you that I know who you are other than that? You can see him mull that over for a second. And his eyes are almost, and there's, there's just stuck on the tattoo that's waving around and like looking at him. It's his little, his little dragon fairy form. Oh. Um, I sense my magic all over you. I don't know why I don't remember you. I should. That was part of the plan. Yes. But uh, some things went a little off. Hopefully you will. Haven't quite figured that out yet. But surely you... You know that you know me somehow. Clearly. And she's like, she points at the tattoo. He's looking at that too. He looks to Callum. He looks to that tattoo. Callum's tattoo has come up and started like looking at what's going on too. It's like no made way. its way to his <laughs> jaw. Uh, and he's just like, regardless, say the name again. And he'll, he's going to walk over to Callum and grab him and pull him very like... He does not need to make the arc that he needs to make around you, but he does <laughs> it. Very. Uh, um, in this in this moment, she has not tried this yet. Can she try and mentally like talk to him? To Talon or Callum? Uh, Talon, because they used to be like they they were connected mentally. Um. You can try, yeah. Roll me, you know what? Roll me a d20. Uh, okay. Low, no, high, yes. Okay. Oh, boo. It's a nine. Uh, she'll still try and uh, kind of reach into his mind without, like, casting a spell. So you give that connection is still there. Um and like realize it's not and be a little little upset. It's about not it. okay. So it's not that there's not a connection. It's that there he's got these walls now that you've never <gasps> felt before. Oh, okay. So he's focusing really hard on keeping her out. Yeah, okay, you have so. like I don't even need you to roll for this. You have okay. just because you know him very well. You have knocked him off his guard. He is not happy, and everything that is happening right now, he hates. He hates Sam, bro. <laughs> he hates okay. with a passion and he can't even, he doesn't even have time to deal with you. He's worried about what just happened to his aunt. Fair. And everything about this he hates. But he is not gone enough to leave Callum in your presence. So he is now putting himself between you and Callum. He doesn't want you anywhere near Callum and you see him shoving Callum down the stairs okay. ahead of him uh, and the last the last person with you is Rananel who jogs over and just hugs you when he uh, hugs her life. you're welcome I am starting to uh, wonder if we should have just stayed this will be fine this will be fine and she'll like uh clutch Renanel a little bit tighter and she'll go did you really think i would let you fall to your death no no i could still so, terrifying as that that was yes yeah um <sighs> Let's see if we can go um, <clears throat> sort whatever the hell is going on out because everything is just awful. And police driver, uh, and she's going to like pull back and like loop her elbow in with Renanel as um, she's like going towards the edge. Um, 
sure. At least I, at least you're safe for now, and I've got you, and you know who I am. <laughs> oh, and you get like, a grab. He just closer. pulls your head in and gives you a kiss as you walk down the stairs, and is like, "It'll be. We'll, we'll figure it out." Yes, yes, yes. Um, at the bottom of the stairs. In our clearing with a broken and deceased Belloth is the rest of you. Um, Tamina has just, Tamina has disappeared. The earthquakes that were starting to happen um, have stopped since our new Belloth arrived and disappeared. And Damascus, you get more or less body checked out of the way as as winter picks up Beloth's Beloth's body and is just like to the tree now home Thon let's go incoherent he looks like he's about to start sobbing wherever we need to go whatever we need to do um he his wings pop out, and he takes off into the air with her, heading back to the first druid's uh, tree, who is, and she's turned into a bird herself, taken to the sky. Um, Roy and his wife are making their way back. Roy's got hit an arm around her. Um, Callum is down the stairs by this point. And sees you, Arev, and jogs over to you, um, throws his arms around you, pulls you in, and gives you a kiss. I'm glad you got all right. I, I, I'm glad to be all right too. <laughs> I'm happy that you. I, how did you survive? I'm a very talented archer, first of all. Second of all, Talon. And Talon <laughs> at this point has turned back into the tiny fairy dragon and is sitting on Callum's shoulder. I, I reach over and like just sort of try to give Talon some scritches like on the head, kind of like a dragon, a cat sized dragon. Ooh, let me see how he's feeling right now. Hang on. Uh, you get a you go to give him scratches and you, you his tail whacks your hand out of the way. Don't uh, touch oh. me. I, all right, so that's hinting, not he's so perfectly scritchable sized. Yeah, he's that's... not having a good time. So, just excuse him. <clears throat> okay, I mean, I I'm grateful that he kept you safe. And Bices, and at that point, you'll see Bices flying through the air as well, going back to Thon. He was very helpful. You know, it's funny. With everything that happened, I'm still trying to remember where he came from and why he helps us at all. I think it was something to do with... Uh... Inimus and uh, getting her soul back from for him. Yeah, that was a really weird quest. Now that I come to think of it, I d d I'm glad we did it. I mean, it's kind of the right thing to do. I just don't. Where did the motivation come from? Eh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, um, at this point, you see Alewin and Randanel come down from there, from the the tree as well, Randanel. Clocks, you in another man's arms, and does not look happy about it. Actually, Alewin like tightens. You her tighten elbow your grip and, and he, like pats. He's leaned down to whisper in your ear, like, "I, uh, what the fuck is this? I, I, what, what the fuck is this? I don't. I am so confused because this." This is not how any of this was supposed to go. I don't quite know when uh, when all of that happened. Mm -hmm. That wasn't a thing. It's never been a thing. But clearly it's a thing now. What the fuck? What, 
fuck is this? What the fuck is this? And like he's gotten <laughs> balls in the last like 30 seconds of this, okay? Just what the fuck is this? <clears throat> so winter went that way. I I he seemed distraught. We should probably catch up with him. I'm gonna he just... just take off. <laughs> Kellen's like, uh oh, what he <laughs> Am I missing something? And you go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. No. Uh, okay. So much. So oh, much. Like, why is what what's wrong with winter? Is anything wrong with winter? Well, well I mean, down there. Belloth. Well, he's taken off, but Belloth yeah. made him so. Oh. Oh, wait, where is she? Uh, well, her body is back. It is going towards Thon. Oh, but then go. there's the other one. What other? Which, which yeah. one? Mm. Does <sighs> anybody who uh, has an entire, uh, a better intelligence score want to explain to the wizard about... Um, evil god Bella. or died. should i i guess i pretty much just did there's an evil god there's the evil version of Bella. and there's another version she didn't have a twisting Who... mustache Seems... but she was hotter canonically so because <laughs> evil is hotter <laughs> she seemed to recognize yeah. what did she say exactly about Lewin being there i think she said her name I think she said something about she was. I'm not. I honestly don't fucking remember. It's okay. too far. It's okay. I feel like it was something like her Alewin. Yeah, that might just be how I'm remembering my it That was something my like that. Yeah. yeah, that was the conclusion I drew, at least. Same. Yeah. I just go. Mm -hmm. She seemed to recognize you. Are I you will... familiar with any versions of Biloth? I'll silent image because I can do it for free. What? Evil, evil Belloth looked like if she looked any different than our Belloth. You know, I'm just picturing like how much hotter. corsets and black lipstick, but that's just me oh, yeah. in my head. Uh, evil Belloth <laughs> is actually in her one of her older forms where she has the white radiant skin and that blue gown and everything is lit up no. to the point where you have trouble looking at her. There's a bit of like this almost a blue electricity that seems to crackle when she walks. Like when the sun is too bright on a winter's day? Yes. That is exactly what Belloth is. There's a picture of her her OG form in the chat. But... Yeah. yeah. And she was here. She was here. She grabbed the crystal sword thing. For any of us could get a chance you to... You let her take the sword. That's a... Do you understand what that means? <laughs> and her being no. <laughs> Considering we you told us precisely nothing about anything that's going on since pulling us into, uh, if I recall correctly, hell. No, I don't. I don't know what that means. I feel like it's not on us. Maybe if you shared who you actually were and where you actually came from and how. You knew this person. We'd have some idea of the consequences of what's happening. Well, we're all doomed. Let's put it that way. Oh, so good. Huh? Changed it all. all right. <laughs> no. <laughs> so probably then what you're dealing with this this Belloth that you know is not the Belloth that you saw. She is the dead one. Yes. Temporarily. I mean, who can say? But, uh, where uh, Damascus is going to bring Are we still by the tree? Or are we walking? I, talking? I, I assumed we were walking talking, but it's up to yes. you. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we can we can walk and talk. Yeah. Because I, uh, I assume I'll that just we're, say, yeah. As we're walking, I'll just be like, if the Elder Druid can't bring it back, we come back here, we get the bark from the tree, we make that potion, pour it down with rope. Maybe that'll do it. Long shot, but it's worth it. At least trying. 
Yeah. You just get a pat on your back from Faza. Yeah. <laughs> we can do that. So do you know what we can expect from this other Beloff? Do you know what sort of agenda she might have? <laughs> She's quite fond of uh, love and admiration, but not, not in a, uh, not in a comfortable way, not in a, uh, in a way where any of us are safe. <laughs> she takes what she wants and destroys anything in her path. I respect Include women's wrongs. No, 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 no. Um, she destroys everything just because she can, and she's destroyed almost all of you. <laughs> Because she can. And that's why I'm here. I've seen Beloth angry before. And I imagine that there's quite a fury to it. And then I think Damascus kind of pauses, thinking about... Wait, hang on. When has he seen Beloth angry, really? When have you seen her angry? When have I don't think you Damascus seen her has. angry? No, I don't think you have. I don't. I think you've seen her annoyed. I don't know. That just felt true to say. But. Oh. <sighs> Bomb's seen her angry. That's yeah, probably true. Bomb? Who? What? Did. Wherever you oh yeah, from. do any of us know about this? That bomb and all of the bomb situation? The, they, that I bonded with bomb? Yeah. Would we have oh, been able no. to tell? I mean, you can roll roll perception. Roll perception to see if you saw it in the heat of battle. Oh, I didn't. Have they caught up with me yet? 21. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you saw him do something, you're not sure what. The magic is weird. I know magic is weird. weird. Magic. Yeah, the magic is weird. Okay. That tracks with dead Bella, though, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't see it, no. Yeah. You were too busy watching your one of your boyfriends be thrown over the side of an e the edge. And trying to get vengeance for Varian. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you had a lot going on. <laughs> Faza it, saw it, because you did it for her. Yeah. You do... You know, you you do seem a little um, glowier, or there's something different about just your aura, I guess. Balm offered help in that fight when Faze was about to get torn apart by those things. Wow. And got a spring, a fair god of spring and renewal. You're gonna see runes like appear as Elaine is like flipping through like data that she has. I'm sorry, uh repeat that one more time as she's flipping. Do you wanna make a history check? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I silent image what like bomb yeah. looked like in Dreams? With advantage or advantage? Yeah. Help action. Okay, cool. Uh, history 24 in total. You know these names. Yeah, they come up in your research, okay. at least at the beginning of it. Okay, okay. Um, right. I, I'm sort of familiar with it, but uh, they're here or not here or. In your Define version that of events. What made you and us special? Um, well, we gathered to help a rev, and uh, I guess that's what made us special. What do you mean special? 
I mean, I'm, I, you've seen my magic. That makes me special. I mean, here, at least, me and the, uh, Rev and Edgar, now Winter, and late and excuse me, I don't know about eleven and Phaser. I got pieces of the gods inside of us. We did. When I was sort of looking through things, I thought that was some sort of like metaphor or something. But that's real. Okay. Yeah, we have pieces of like God soul in us, and now it's not pieces because the kind of just merged together. I think the only one that's left is Vara. So you're merging with gods. Oh, they certainly are. First of all, rude. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, oof. Oh, that feels like a sore subject for you, Rev. No, not at all. It's more just a comment on the fact that they have had... Vara doesn't like him. Oh. Apparently she has the hots for Varian. That's not what that's about. <laughs> what did you do to really, offend her? Really doesn't help, though. <laughs> I, I've done nothing to offend her. And... Well, in my experience with um, my Beloth, it does not take much. But you're still alive, so you're doing considerably I... better. No, do you want the Better than your ref? Correct. <laughs> so the me in your universe is dead. As are the rest of us. Not all so. of you. So who's yeah, what about still me? alive? I don't have a god inside me. I'm just related to one. You're different. Um, Gilly, you're... You're uh, thriving. The last time we spoke, um, Damascus, you are. Uh, I wouldn't say fine, but you're alive. And uh, there's mm. that. That's uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to uh, leave it at that for now. Not fine, but you're alive. That doesn't sound great, Damascus. That, that is that is ominous as hell. Yeah, definitely. Not ideal. But... I wonder if you're just home. Like maybe you're just poor. Like maybe no. you're homeless and 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 stuff. Um, no, That's actually, seasonal you're, depression. Uh, <laughs> you're uh, very well known, actually, and uh, something sort of uh, hijacked that a little bit, and uh, you're still very well known. But, um, oh, infamous, not famous. Uh, Sounds like you're, uh, it's very interesting to see you, uh, enjoy Beloth here because you don't quite have much of a choice where, uh, I'm from. I mean, I suppose you would, but, uh, you wouldn't. Yes. If you uh, and you do value your life, so um... tracks. Is, is your version of Damascus some sort of cult leader? <laughs> like... My version, her version of Damascus, sounds like uh, Bella's consort. He, he <laughs> sounds like the leader of the cult of personality. Is what it sounds like. <laughs> no, I mean... um, Damascus was famous on his own before. Um, we uh, helped a rev. And uh, some things went awry, and um, he's still famous, but he uh, stays by Beloth's side. Um, and there's Wait. that. So, sorry. When you helped your version of me, uh, what what exactly was it that I needed help with? It, uh... Can we can we chat about this a little later? Sure. I mean, I think we're just getting pretty far ahead of us. We should probably focus on catching up with him. As yes. Long, 
as long as it don't result in another situation like whatever happened with Beloth and this with evil evil Beloth and this sword. If the I feel like information know, is tell us. helpful. But if it's personal, if it's about how um uh, evil but sexy a version of me, then maybe I don't want to know. Well, I think we could just like drop it for the night, maybe. It's just a lot to process is all. Um oh. as you guys Hero yeah, let's okay. continue. <laughs> As you guys uh, get to Thawne again and make it to the Eldest Druid's Tree, um, Ensign meets you at the door, um, brings you to the topmost guest room in her home. Uh, it's very warm and cozy. It's got soft light that comes from glowing moss on the walls and on the ceiling. Um, it's furnished with very large with a very large comfortable bed uh made of woven grass covered in a soft fluffy blanket made of furs um there is a small wooden table beside the uh bed with a vase of like fresh flowers on it um adding even more nature to the room um and large large windows all across this upper floor so that um it lets in plenty of natural light from the sun this room sits above the canopy so you can look out over it um on the bed unseeing eyes still kind of just staring out into nothingness is spell off She's been placed there uh, very gently by Winter. And he is currently smoothing her hair out around her. Um, not doing great. The Eldest Druid is... She's collected a whole bunch of different herbs and um, items that she's going to need to cast a spell. And has been concocting that this entire time uh you guys it took you an extra like maybe 10 or 15 minutes to get there um and when you get there she goes okay we will sit sit quietly i i will cast the spell and yeah, um she almost she looks like I don't know. Like, the look she's giving you right now, the shrug is like, this is not exactly something that has ever happened before. Um, she goes, I I will cast the spell we will see from there. And uh, I'm gonna make a couple rolls here as she begins to cast this spell. Okay, that's not great. Six is not great. Um, she begins to cast the spell. Um, this green light begins to come out of her. Uh, she's painting runes on Bella's faith with this little um potion that she's made. And as soon as they begin to light up with this green energy, they immediately burn off the skin. Like, not that the skin is burning off, the rune itself is smoking and fading away. Um, and she looks at you and and says, I she does not answer me. All right. Uh, let's call it together. Oh. What will you do? I... Uh, whatever you just did. Try it again. Um, I'll go sit with her. And I will put... Uh, the sword that she's given me, like... Lay it on Belloth's chest. And mm -hmm. I... Will cast... 
I mean, I got like healing word. <laughs> That's the spells that I got. I I give the druid bardic inspiration. You give her bardic inspiration. Okay. If you if you take a level of exhaustion. Done. Okay, sure. <laughs> uh, if you take a little, I will allow you to funnel some of your magic into her. Okay. Um I, I do that. You do that. She's gonna cast. She's gonna roll a 19 and use your bardic, which is a what? A D10. A D10. Okay. Okay, so she's going to get a 26 plus her modifiers. One second. Okay, so we're well into the 30s, all right? So here's how this is going to go. You begin to funnel magic into Beloth as she casts this spell. um, And you feel bomb or the bits of bomb that are left in you begin to push his magic through her arm and into her body and i mean bomb is the god of life you know he's the god of spring everything blooms in spring here's what's gonna happen you are not in your body anymore you are standing in a white light. You can't see anything but light. What do you do, Damascus? Um, standing in this light, I pause for a moment. Um, I'm assuming this light is like very bright, almost blinding. Uh-huh. I think there is nothing but light. I Damascus will hold a hand up, kind of like blocking the light, just trying to like be able to see. And almost without even realizing that he does it, he's gonna druid craft just like a piece of like a, a large, almost you know those really big leaves you know what i'm talking about like big plant from yeah yeah something like that just in front of his hand to like cover the shade and let him be able to look around and he'll look around and just call out for her he is in light she's here somewhere and just belloth i know you're here i know you sacrificed for us I'm going to do the same to get you back. This is still your world. Even if someone came to take it from you. We're going to make sure it gets back to who it belongs to. But you need to be here for us to give it to. Roll me a persuasion check because currently she's not answering you. Okay, let me... Very quickly, double check what happens at one level of exhaustion. Disadvantage so on checks. Disadvantage. Gotcha. Ugh. Persuasion. That's okay. I still can't roll lower than a 13 or than a 22. So that will be a 23. <laughs> I have my self bardic. No, I do not. I no, you don't. Uh, Wait, I have lucky. I'm going to re-roll that eight. I have one luck left. 19 on the dice with the lucky. So I still have to take the lower one. That was Oh my technique. god. <laughs> 13 plus 13 is 26. Math. Um, you hear from somewhere, go home, Damascus. Cool. Gladly. You're coming with me, though, right? And the area begins to dim just slightly. I cast light on the little plant thing that I'm holding in my hand. If your light ain't strong enough to stand against this darkness, I don't know what is. But if it's not, it's fine. 
There are those of us who are willing to lend you ours until you recover what you need. I don't want to come home. I think I'm done. Hang on, I'm thinking. Oh. I know. You suffered through countless years alone. More than anyone should have to since we all left you behind. I didn't mean to. I don't think any of us did. World. And just as important, it's people need you. World ain't the same without its life. Is ain't he freezing? Or is it just me? Who, me? Oh, you're freezing. Oh my yeah. god, I'm frozen. Oh, no. <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh, there I we go. You caught it, up. Yeah. Wow. Did it went you hear so fast. Any of that? <laughs> I heard bits and pieces. Okay. I, I heard a very up. sweet speech about how you need to re enter the world because it. Even though you might not feel like it needs you, it does. And kind of like, I promise you that, et cetera. Okay. Aww. As long as that went through. Okay. Uh, and he just goes, I don't. Maybe you were already gone when it happened. Damascus, bomb. I don't know where one ends or the other begins anymore. But I do know this. Whoever I care about you, the world ain't the same without you in it. Not because we need you, but because we want you there. And he'll just put the light, the leaf down, and just stare into the sun, which you should never do. No. Nope. Hold out a hand and wait. So why don't you come on back with me, darling? You are so lucky because she rolled an 11. Okay. Out of that bright light, a hand comes and holds onto yours. You are the most known little shit I have ever created. Of course I am. That's why you like me. Now let's go. And, and he pulls her close and like puts an arm around her. And I think little bits of like vine kind of wrap around both of us. And he goes, he pauses for a second when nothing happens and goes, but also how do we get out of here? Because I don't <laughs> actually know. <laughs> you just hear her sigh and that light begins to shine to the point where you have to close your eyes and bury your head in her neck because it is too bright and you're back damascus tired as fuck but sitting on the bed next to Beloth, whose chest is rising and falling with breath her eyes are closed and seen her knees buckle and she ends up sitting on the other side of the bed. She looks like she gave away a part of herself for this. Can I run forward to her? A hundred percent you can. So um, a rev runs forward and as she's like staggering, he just like kind of ungraciously because he's awkwardly doing it, but he like reaches his arms out to kind of like steady her down kind of thing and he's cradling her body as, as she sits he goes hey, hey whoa whoa are you okay yet? she pats your shoulder oh I am I will be fine you know I think this might be the first time 
that I actually get to call you grandma. She hugs you. There's just a, a big, like, she pulls you in close to her. She goes, oh, you could have called me grandma for a long time. I didn't know. Or maybe I didn't want to know. I, I'm not sure which. But you've always had my back and believed in me longer than I... Longer than I knew that you were. So here I am having your back. Literally. Um, she's going to ask you to take her to her room because she's so tired. I can do that. And I sort of turn to the group and I just look at each of them and I go, you all don't mind if I take off for a minute? Dude, you know what you need to do. Also, can you turn to Damascus? Good fucking job. I only did a bit. Your grandmother pushed us to the line. I just walked over it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that took out of her, but she don't look good. Got it. Will do. Let's go. You... Bring her down to her room. Um, by the time you're getting down the stairs and have reached her floor, um, Roy's coming up and sees you, sees his grandmother, and immediately goes and opens the door for you. Thanks, Roy. What? What? And he, just pointing at this point, like, what? So... Uh, let's see if I can do this in 10 words or less. Um, we got back. God died. Grandma saved God. She is tired. Hey, <laughs> nailed it. So the, you get a little laugh from the eldest druid, but it's tired and she's fading fairly quickly. And she goes, I think I, I should, I should rest for the night. But and she looks to Roy. Call me all my grandchildren. I wish to meet them. And uh she gets in bed and very, very quickly is asleep. Or anything I, turned to, you. I, I turned to Roy after she falls asleep and I said you know that means she wants to meet her right she can meet her yeah it's but like fine but you like killed is my it... mother so, so then it is fine Roy I, I know what it's like when you lie I can see the sweat that your right eyebrow always twitches like you're white knuckling like just what are you so scared of? Losing my little girl. Losing her to what? Being a druid? She's already more in tune with the world than a anyone that I met at the druid's like, colleges. What? When you are in this family, when you are expected to be a ruler of something, you lose your innocence very quickly. Yes. I imagine you do. And looking at what's 
even been happening in our nation. And I'm not just talking that you and I have witnessed, but in, in the lifetimes that have been led in the rules of each eldest druid with the stories that have been hidden and just masked by the shade of all of these trees, all of the secrecy that was hidden as the years rolled on about like the creation of, of this entire place and, and, and its foundation and it's, Maybe, Roy, for the first time in a long time, what the people here need is some innocence. Someone to remind them what it's like to simply be of the world and, and stewards of it and have love for the universe around them. I can't remember a single... A single time the people here ever held a right, and it wasn't just a holiday. That they didn't go through with the Druidic Code and bless the trees and water the flowers and look to the sky and, you know, breathe fresh air every dawn. And all, all these things that are supposed to be sacred as if it's just another I, I... he just... pats you on the shoulder just, just, oh, smack that's just a little too hard he goes, well you can um, start that with your own daughter and um, introduce her to Garamia first as he walks to the door <clears throat> so because you are not excluded from this I know I was and, just talking uh, about you probably should call your sister as well yeah I'm gotta make a lot of uh, sending stone calls now fuck off let her rest and let me see my wife. Yeah, you you go do that, Roy. Don't uh, don't let the door hit you on the way out. And he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, back at the top of the tower or the tree. Um, is there anything that anyone is doing? Beloff is not waking up. She's breathing. She hasn't woken up. So should we like give her like a health potion or something? I don't know oh. if a health potion's gonna do it. Chicken do, soup. No. Do a mm -hmm. perception check, guys. Eighteen. Eighteen. Nice. Um, sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Twelve. Twelve. Two. You know what? The DC was not high, so hey! um, it was higher than it was yeah, just that... eleven. Uh, Bella is also not glowing. Like she mm. normally glows. Somebody else Ooh. took her job. <laughs> She's breathing. She looks very, very mortal. Can only be one. Um, <laughs> it's like Something Highlander rules. A bit um, less radiant. All right. I think at least now that she's alive, maybe we can do something to bring her back to godlyhood. As I pull out our little potion of the or bottle of the water bear. Oh uh, yeah. It's supposed to make a person become a god. I mean, it's incomplete at the moment. We've got to go back to the tree, but it's worth a try. That seems like basically exactly what we I need. I heard it, too. 
there was just a child screaming like they just got murdered in the hallway. Oh, one cool. like like bad. <laughs> oh, check on that situation. She. Yikes. I don't even like know what's it... like. That was not a good yell. Uh oh. Was it from outside? It was from our hallway. Huh. I mean, break and reconvene, maybe. Um, well, well the person that does yeah, the breaks is gone. Come back, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Brief interlude with the cast members. Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> no, we're about to really like explore the nature of divinity. This should be interesting. Yeah, right. I'm sorry. What is that potion that he's got there? I guess. All oh, right, you wouldn't know. It's yes. like a side quest we've been doing. And it does what exactly? Why does he think that's going to help? It makes a god. Like, turn someone into a god. Right? I'm not the person that needs to be explaining this. <laughs> if literally anybody's going to explain it, it should not be me. <laughs> so, first yeah. of all, nobody got murdered outside. Good. Good. Secondly, <laughs> my understanding... Uh, <laughs> Tamina explained this potion's supposed to either strengthen a god or make one potentially become a god she weren't terribly specific I All just right. figured our best chance sure I and mean... we got pretty much everything we need except the bark from the tree we were just at was it the tree we were just at yeah. that's yeah. convenient yeah. Lovely. <laughs> Almost like somebody planned this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have thunk? Um, all right, well. Should we get the bark first or try the potion? We need well, the we potion. Call it we need the, the bark to make, to make the, potion. the potion. And then it's going to take oh, a little bit of time. Bark is an ingredient. You. Yeah, does anybody here know how to brew potions? Is it just like tea? We could get Talon to do it. I mean, Probably it like depends on the potion. Did you not have any instructions? Like, we just need get the bark and a single give it to ray go. plucked from the sun's embrace, a drop of sun, a piece of ancient skin from the first being of Rhea, freely given, crimson Alexa that kindles mortal flame, a celestial flower that blooms a far beautiful star. A serpent's eye, fiery and bright, with the power to petrify on sight, and a drop of divine sorrow, a shimmering reminder of heart's depth. Interesting. And yeah. you've got all of that? Near Except for the skin do. of the first being of Raya. Yeah. Which is the bark. We figured right. that one out. Well, lovely. Fascinating. Uh... No, like, assembly instructions, though. Um, I mean, yes, there are. Were there? Oh, okay, yes, good. there were. <laughs> uh, if you've got any idea, I'm sure I could figure it out. Um, it must be brewed at one a.m. There you go. In okay. full darkness, under the star, under a star, a sky of stars, in a place of power Shit. and a holy oh, no. site. And it must be imbibed at the break of dawn, directly after brewing. Amazing. Oh, shoot. Awesome. Alayrin is taking notes of all of this. As Okay, that's uh, a little bit more complicated like yeah. than making a cup of tea. All right. Um, <laughs> stars again. Fascinating. Um, that might be a problem. We don't exactly <laughs> have stars. <clears throat> Did someone say stars? <laughs> they, like, <laughs> in the corner. Deja Welcome Deja. back. How's your grandmother? Tired. Very tired. Naturally. Understandable. If she we wants to meet my kid, though. Yeah. They we know you have a kid. You've said that, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait, Alewin. Yes, yes. Did other me have a kid? That's a good question. Um, no, but uh, 
sucker. You he also might not have known with your family. He, he what? Very close. I suggested he might not have known. Huh. Other yeah. other arrive was very close with his family. Yes. That is uh, that's fair. Yep. I would not I did not even know I had a family. So that somewhere yeah. your mothers just drop out of whatever they're doing, their hearts clenching, like <laughs> <gasps> oh, how do <laughs> why do I feel like Sabi? <laughs> um so you guys don't um just don't have the night sky here, stars, and I do I know that and uh <laughs> I know I said I sort of wanted to talk about it a little later, but it's a little ironic that we need uh, stars because that's um, a red. That was your quest. Um, well, I mean, it, okay, so and he you and I succeeded. Wait, we what? Where I'm from. Ooh, it was quite lovely. Uh, it was great, actually, the entire adventure. Um. And you did. You succeeded, but uh, you paid a price for it. So ironically, uh, got stars back where I'm from, but you don't have them here, correct? Okay. <clears throat> so I'm I'm picking up what you're putting down. Other me paid a price. Yes. More on that later. Uh, so you don't have me where you're from, but you do have stars. Yes. And over here, they we did do... have you. But you stopped having me when you got the stars. My Beloth is not kind. And she was not pleased. Mm -hmm. Was she the reason you didn't have stars? Sort of, I suppose. Um, oh, well, then I'm fine. It's going to be a totally different adventure. Tamina's the reason we don't have stars. All good. Right. <clears throat> sure. I admire Question. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. You can do uh, the time skipping thing, like d reality hopping and all that. Could you Correct. just, like, go to your reality under stars for the potion come back <laughs> doesn't look like a yes face the possibility is uh small uh probably not the best idea honestly uh probably should not skip timelines again for a while or we'll call that plan b we'll call yeah. that like plan z um <laughs> not safe if you want your potion back that is not not how we should do it let's just say that noted <clears throat> and how did we get the stars back here here yeah, you were there what did we have to do what did they have to what needs to be done well i don't know if that's going to work here i suppose um did you have stars ever i look at a rev here uh well stars have never existed during your lives uh so i have and I go sort of fishing in um, my pocket and I pull out this small, almost palm sized um, bronze disc, if you will, uh, that looks very intricately designed and got a, a bunch of like whorls and gadgets and stuff on it. Um, and so it's. I press a button on it and it just like immediately elongates. And then you see I'm holding a sort of like a handheld telescope. And then I hold it out towards Alewa and I go, I have this. 
So uh, if you've never seen one of these before, although I'm sure you have, you put your eye on this end, and then I want you to do me a favor and look up. Oh. This looks familiar. Um, yes. Uh, sure. And she's going to look through. And uh, I imagine she she sees the stars. She does. Okay. As they once were 50,000 years ago. Not the same stars you're used to, but oh. they're definitely the stars. They're different. But similar. Um, she's going to put it back in her hand and uh, look at it for probably a little longer than she should. Um, we had to go to a temple. We had to do a series of tasks to get the stars back. And I don't know if um, that even exists here. You heard about something like that, didn't we? You did. This, you did. <laughs> uh, what is it that you had, Gilly? Uh, I mean, as far as I remember, I think it was just like a like temple of the stars or something like that. I think we just knew that it existed. Like we heard about it from somebody. From Callum. It might have been Callum. It might have been. Oh Bassus. yeah. Callum uh, was trucking through a mountain nearby, and he found something I believe he called the House of Stars. It's coming back. Possibly. Is that the thing that he like did? Thing? Yeah, it sounds like the same thing. Huh. Fascinating. Um, is anybody, uh, any descriptions? Callum's around, right? Like, he's right there. Yeah. Okay, oh, um, man. she's gonna look at Callum and she's gonna go, um, is there any way you could describe this place? Did you go in where their pedestals was, what, what does it, what did it look like? Did it, um, did it look anything like, um, like this? And she's, uh, she's still got the, uh, the telescope in her one hand and she's doing runes again. Um, and she's like doing a quick scroll to where there's like, um, uh, like a a glittery uh, depiction of what the temple kind of looked like. So uh, did it look like this at all? Um, with pedestals. It like was. It was. Uh, okay, so there was a, a. I wasn't okay, and then you see him, like, almost look confused at himself for a second. Um, OG Ella had told him he wasn't allowed to go to that heli to that holy site. Oh. Um oh, at all. She doesn't. And she doesn't know that. <laughs> so he's sitting there going, why wasn't I allowed to go there? Um and you can see him like I know where it is. I didn't go and check it out. Uh I also found a bunch of I don't know how to explain it. Salt leading to the mountain, but uh, no place for the salt to have disappeared. It just kind of went into the mountain, and there was nowhere to go into the mountain. All right. Uh, it's the it's the mountain between uh, Horn and Ingria. It should be it. Possibly, might be, uh, without a little bit more detail. Um, yes, 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 yes. It, 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 it's the same temple, right? Like, that is the same location that she... Um, I'm going to say yeah. Okay. Sounds oh. like our best lead. The salt is different, though. We okay, the salt is different. You can, who can say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, because she's already been through this. She's yes. already been through this. She knows she has. She would know that that's where it was. But okay. again, the salt is different. The salt is weird. The salt is weird. Yeah, uh, oh. some things are a little different, but um, What's the location different? is the same. the The salt, I don't quite 
have a concept of what that is yet. I yet. We'll pause for a second and turn to Gilly and say, any chance it might have something to do with the sea and your ancestry? I mean, salt. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Who's to say? <laughs> yeah. There it is. <laughs> that's, that's literally what I got. We had salt, what? <laughs> it's all coming together. It's all <laughs> coming together. We will see where this is going. Uh... All right. Well, it sounds like that's our next destination then. Um, I agree. And I know what to do other than the salt. And it wasn't very hard. Um, well, together. Can we, like, so... can we like explicitly like, did a rev die? Is that what the, is that what happened? <laughs> not in, not in the temple. Um, Wait. Okay. The temple Faith. went smooth. It went better than smooth, actually. Um, it went just as planned. So, well, yes, uh, history repeats itself. Okay. Faisa, uh, darling, did, didn't you say mm -hmm. something about growing up in in salt caves or something, a salt mine? Yeah. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, she's taking notes. <laughs> Faza was. I don't know where that was, though. Remember? I know. I'm wondering if it's connected. You might know stuff about salt. No, I'm wondering if it we're is if... salty and it hurts <laughs> when it gets in cuts. I'm wondering <laughs> she looks if like. This... I... <laughs> I mean, I'm wondering if this temple is connected to the caves you were raised in. If it's connected to the cult that kidnapped you. Uh, no, you were raised well, in a cult? Oh. She was raised to be sacrificed. What does that mean? Huh? Well, I don't know a lot about cults, I suppose, other than what I've read, so... To be fair, it's, oh, it... it's not fun! Yeah. To I be fair, imagine. though, Alewin, you don't know a lot about any of us. It's not necessarily true. I just don't know a lot about her. She yeah, don't know a lot really... about these versions of anybody. Um, What's my favorite color? I actually do. That would have been something that she had researched. And would have she... known. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she because, have, because she yep. wanted to fit she wanted to fit in. You guys Amazing. weren't supposed to know she was someone else. <laughs> no, you guys just had really good roles and I didn't have my time magic. If we were not in hell when all of that went down, you guys would You know. wouldn't remember, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fair. So I, in this case, it's green. It is a rose favorite color. Well, it's green, like uh like okay, Asia. Look, every, okay, anyone, that's anyone an easy a, one to guess. Yeah, I don't have a lucky guess. Anyone do, do would I, have been able to guess that. Tea or coffee? She's, uh, she's gonna list off everybody's favorite color briefly. Uh, she points to like Damascus and Gilly, and not Faisa because she doesn't know. <laughs> uh, actually, my favorite color is silver. He just he makes up a different color that's definitely not his favorite color. <laughs> I thought just it was orange, easy. like my eyes. Sh shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Wait, yeah, uh, that is shut what Alewin said, orange. So, I mean, that Did tracks. you just tell me to shut up? No, I just, you, I, <laughs> God damn it. I was trying to take a point. <laughs> and a rabbit. You have gift of gab. <laughs> oh, yeah, I cast gift of gab. <laughs> None of that happened. Forget None that. of that happened. Right. doesn't remember that. I, Everyone else why, does. Fine <laughs> for a second. I'm just like sitting there being like, why is he using magic on his girlfriend to make her forget? Yeah. That's right. why gatekeep girl boss. <laughs> uh, and it's it's coffee for a rev, right? That's pine. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah, it's yeah. 100 that's what I thought. Coffee. I was like, black. Uh, black yes. coffee. Mm -hmm. Black coffee, a rev. I like turn to Gilly and I go, damn, she's good. I don't know. Maybe she's just a really good guesser. Oh yes, clearly. Okay, wait, no, 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 no. Um, you know I, what? I, 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 no, I have, I have to ask one more. I can throw a wrench in this entire plan. <laughs> sure I you turn, can. Go for and it. I, ho I hold up a finger and I go, "What is the average flight speed of an American swallow?" 
Can I roll an intelligence check for that? I feel like what's an America? You can. Like a like a nature. <laughs> what's America? Nature? What's an America? <laughs> it's just the name, American Swallow. It's oh, okay. I don't. Okay. It's, it's like the scientific uh, name. Have you never? Yeah, the it, Latin name of. Well, that's an eighteen in total. So, like, I feel like she would know. I don't remember what the answer was. I have no idea what that is. So, uh, <laughs> okay, well, James. she's gonna say she's gonna say it. Whatever it is, <laughs> ever slice through the American swallow. Uh, Twenty miles an hour. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> you don't even fucking know. Okay, twenty miles oh, an hour. It's just a meme. <laughs> and Gilly, you, uh, you've got that candy box. I recognize it, and I know who it's from. You've been stealing my candy. <laughs> oh yes, yes. And the candy told me who it was from. It it spoke to me quite literally and told me it was from Posy. <gasps> okay, well I don't fucking Wait, Posy. Wait, Posy's I... your girlfriend, right? No, your best. She's friend not my girlfriend. girlfriend. That's not common knowledge. Let's not. You make told. Other I'm sorry, but it's common knowledge for me because you're the one who keeps messing up dates. Because all you do is talk about Posy. There was one time. Oh. I did it one time. Isn't that Never lovely when down. somebody uh, tells details that you did not wish to uh, have revealed yet? Isn't okay. that a great feeling? This is not mission critical information. <laughs> you asked me to prove. What else would you like me to say? Okay, fine. I'll I know you. all of you. I, feel like everything I don't is pretty think you critical. know all of us. Winter finally has managed to peel himself away from the bed. I hug him. <laughs> hug him. He hugs you. He needs a hug. <clears throat> I'm fine. It's fine. It's not fine. This is really bad. Pat on the back. So Thank you. It's all right, mate. I I don't want to like press you with questions or anything, Winter. As I kind of like look up at him just a tiny bit but i'm He's like looking down at you but considering you are the literal god of winter um do you maybe know more about what's kind of going on with Beloth's body than say us non-actual gods and then yeah, i just kind of hold up a figure and i say don't say anything bomb <laughs> um I can feel that she's not a god anymore. Oh. She she I feels kind of... And she goes, sorry. And he points at Gilly. Like, Gilly. Um, maybe, uh. like, been touched by... by divinity, but not... It's not there anymore. But not a god inside of us. More's the pity. Yeah. Okay... Mm. We need to but get... I can still feel Beloth here, and I'm assuming that that's because that there's another one. Yeah, uh, what do we think that she's doing? Is she just, like, here now? I hope not. <clears throat> huh. What, what was her, do? like, motivations in your world? To do whatever the hell she wanted. Okay. Because she could. Well, what can she, she do with uh, that sword? That's everyone so... is looking at like <laughs> everyone here that didn't make that sword is now looking at you like um I don't know we know it can kill a god <laughs> she doesn't necessarily need help with that um hold, hold that thought the everyone's holding that thought yeah sorry I didn't actually expect everyone to pause. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I start like this. <laughs> so, the sword, <clears throat> the sword can kill gods, and yes. this other Beloth has shown up, and somehow, the divinity of our Beloth is like here, but not with our Beloth. So it's, it's been. Pissed. But what if it's been stolen? I, I hate it's... that thought. I, I feel like it could be a Highlander situation. Oh. That kind of makes sense. What if 
what makes divinity whatever divinity is is a force that's shared between all godlike beings and that what here in this universe while we've all been away suppressed asleep um fading whatever you want to call it whatever the sparks are that are inside of us the reason we're so diminished is that beloth who's been taking care of everything has had the full grasp of what divinity there is to offer and now this other beloth has come into this plane uh and has stolen that i don't know uh, 80 90% chunk of divinity that is or was our beloth so what we're facing is a crisis of whether there's any godhood left to attain for our own souls before it's too late. Well, presumably other Beloth has it. It's So we just got to steal it back. My thoughts are pretty similar. I think the best way to know is to try giving Beloth this, this Beloth, this potion. If it brings her back to godhood, all's right in the world. If it don't, then, then we just wasted B. the potion that we might need later? And this is the thought, is what if the potion needs there to be free divinity to be achieved? So you want to skip plan A for a potion and go straight to plan B for Battle Bella. <laughs> yeah, fuck that bitch. It's not that I want to skip it. I would love to have this Beloth on our side during that fight. I, we've seen she's more than capable. She was running this whole show for the longest time before any of us even awoke to this cycle and in, in our place within it. This, like, this is what the fifteenth time that our god souls have found new bearers to try and At accomplish least. something. And here we are, the furthest I think they've ever gotten on their journeys. But this time, Beloth has run her divinity into the ground, and we are all that's left of that spark of good that our universe actually contained. I think if evil Beloth figures that out, she'll come for us. I... <laughs> don't think you're wrong so yeah that's you said fantastic. That she, she killed all of you ella said she killed all of you elaywin i would not be nicknaming you at this point sorry elaywin you said that she killed all of them in the other timelines is that why we won't we didn't have a spark of divine in those timelines you said or yeah. maybe we were more secretive Correct. about whether we did no it was just fell off um, we did not have the other gods uh, because of her wrath. Um, let's really hope that that is not the case because um, she just likes to destroy things. Uh, um, it could be why she was so strong in my timeline as well. That seems logical. Um, you don't really get a straight answer out of her. Soul. I'm with you on hoping that ain't the case, but I think preparing for it to be is probably a smart thing to do. Better uh, safe than sorry. So yes. if that's her whole deal, is like hungry, hungry, hippoing up all the divinity in the world. Do we are the other gods like how many other gods are there besides the ones in this room that we might need to like do we need to, like, warn them? No, that's... It's just us. And mine. And... Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. And the... The children in the Godlands are supposed to have run things as well. They might mm. have a spark themselves. Which again, Damascus might Talon. have a story of, but like. You see Talon whisper into Callum's ear at this point. 
and Callum go, yeah, they all have a spark of divinity in them. Okay, he's like, sounds he's like pretending he can't speak common again. So <laughs> I clearly speak common. Open secret. The look he's giving you when you say that just. At that moment, she'll try and be like, uh, in his head, uh, she'll she'll try and be like, don't give me that look. It doesn't work on me anymore. Even though I know that there's roll, like walls roll, up. Roll, roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. What am I rolling for? Just a... High, high it goes through. Low it doesn't. 14. So you say that and he, his <laughs> eyes grow wide and he goes, you shut your mouth when you're talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then... And then in full common before he realizes that he he did that <laughs> and then is like, oh. He like goes, shh. Again, wow. again, he'll hear it one more time in his in his head. Um, obviously, her mouth is not moving. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I didn't open my mouth. Do you believe me a little bit more? As she's like staring at him, mouth closed, arms crossed now. <laughs> he this little puff of smoke comes out of his nostrils. And that only <laughs> ever happens when he gets really annoyed. Um, as he's just... And it comes <laughs> out. And then he goes... He looks at Callum and he says in Sylvan, I'm going to go and find Trixie. <laughs> Not going to help you. <laughs> no one cares! <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> Sylvan. <laughs> Not um, super starting off on the best foot. I know, it's amazing, right? Uh, are you Sorry. are you guys going to rest for the night? Because you have been through the ringer. Yeah, probably. Um, and if so, should. where? How far are you going are? back to your Oh, do we still have you have a room? You have a room. I meant, we do we still a... have our magic wow. mansion situation? Because that was a Bella thing, wasn't it? You would have to try it. No. Uh, well, the apartment, no. But I, ha- I have a wand of magnificent mansion that had nothing to do with her. Mm-hmm. That's true. true. Got a um, wand I was more just revs. curious. How far You'll away are we? You'll have to try it. Yeah, we'll how have to see how it works. From the tree? About an hour. Okay. Do we want to head back to the tree and get the box first before we rest? Sure. Yeah, might uh, as well have everything. Sure, but only Although, if you can tell me how you plan on talking to the tree and getting it to give you the bark of its own free will. Oh, yeah. Because oh. I can do that. But not until I na- take a nap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Fair. Might be able to do it now. Might or can? Is this a one-shot thing, or can we try multiple times? Oh, do you know? Because we could always go try. If it doesn't work, then we put up our druid mansion. Sleep. Try again. It's It's hard to explain. It's a feeling more than anything else. Might be a new bomb thing. Oh. All right. Let's give it a go, I suppose. Unless you want to wait, I mean... We can both talk to it. That's twice the chances. I mean, if you're more likely to listen to you than me, you're champion of the realm. Well, so here's the thing. Not only that, but, you know, he has Vara. Fair enough. Very true, I suppose. So, how about, um, I don't know if you'll have something you want to do for a minute or so, but can you give me a minute? There's something I want to do try sure boss cryptic go for it (laughs) so i take my telescope and i set it to my eye and i hold it up looking at the night sky from fifty thousand years ago that i can see through this brass and glass telescope and i begin to cast a spell Mm -hmm. that takes the full minute to cast called Sign of Stars. It's a second level divination spell. 
And when I am casting it, I am seeking a guiding sign from the stars above. I must be able to see the stars in the sky while casting a spell or else the spell fails. Otherwise, choose one of the following effects. <laughs> that is so smart. <laughs> okay. Well done, sir. I can see the stars. <laughs> uh, but what I get to do is if it succeeds, I um, get to choose either direction or destiny. And if I choose direction, I divine which general direction one should travel from my current location to reach a desired object, creature, or location. Um, I do not receive detail or pinpoint directions, though the guidance I receive is typically more or less vague, depending how distant or close the target is, as well as if the target's on the current plane of existence, or destiny. I could focus on a single creature or group I am familiar with, or an abstract purpose, and I gather a sense of what forces work for and against them. I sense the following. Doom. If there are greater or more numerous forces working against the target, hope. If there are greater or more numerous forces working to help the target, conflict. If there is no clear advantage either way. Uh, also, if I cast this spell two or more times before finishing my next long rest, there's an increasing chance the spell will take a toll on my physical body. Uh, if I do cast it more than once before my next long rest, I have to make a wisdom saving throw, and if I fail it, I suffer exhaustion for every failure, as well as receiving an unclear reading. So, what are you looking for? I am searching based off of trying to go get the bark and whether we should do it now or in the morning. So I think I am hoping to see the whether destiny is in our favor of going now or not. Um, now or not, it genuinely doesn't matter. You, there's no like, yeah, there's no for or against that. It's just a thing that you have to get. Okay, so the destiny comes up with conflict then. So there's no clear yeah. advantage either way. Well, I tried. <laughs> um, fine. I'm totally fine waiting. Okay. Yeah, there's. It's just something that you have to get. Uh. Things have things are going to move forward. I don't know if they're going to move forward that quickly. Okay, that's fair. So we have to yeah. Have to wait. I mean, shit. Yeah, a bunch. Yeah, no. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine tonight. <laughs> you're fine okay. tonight. Um, it's good to check though because it's time. like no, no, that's smart. That is a good way to use that spell. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. Yeah. Uh, so if you guys are returning to your hotel for the night mm -hmm. um we'll take a break and then we can start we'll take a five minute break and then we can start from there good idea because there will be some stuff that happens stuff up stuff i zap in the double doors of my mansion stay tuned to see what uh... stuff happens everyone <laughs> scorpio i just saw two one wait why one. okay whatever um <laughs> Hi, I was totally ready for this. Um, we're back. Everybody ha is uh, leaving Barloff to rest, I suppose. Um, no. I am. I will stay behind for a little bit. So as okay, everybody's okay. going to leave. Where are you going? Why are you staying here? Just want to keep an eye on her for a little bit. Okay, sure okay. Right. I'll I'll be down soon. Sure. Yep. Sure. Yep. Okay. Fine. Just so you're aware, the corner is dark, and she smacks you upside the head when you go to look, and we'll leave. <laughs> corner is dark. One of the corners in this room is incredibly, incredibly shadowy. Oh. Oh. She's got a visitor. There. Gotcha. I hadn't even noticed. Yep, I know. Because you are the most unperceptive motherfucker in the world. But it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. You can stay with your not girlfriend. I'll be down in a minute. This is in a great mood. No, no, take your time. Take your time. <laughs> take your time. Yeah. I'll Just gonna walk away. <laughs> Oh, 
What are the rest of you doing? Sleeping, I presume. <laughs> going okay, so you go. You guys go back to the uh, the hotel, the inn that you were in. Yeah, are we going with us or are we staying with Dan? That is what I just asked. Yeah. Oh, uh... I, I would stay with Dan, and like Arev would be staying with Damascus, especially like probably like on principle. And then once phases like is a dark shadowy corner, he's like, "Well, oh, I'm definitely not leaving now." <laughs> So we can sleep there. Like it's we think the the doors are set up. So okay. technically speaking, you can go through the doors of my mansion whenever oh, you want. Could just go to your mansion. You, you don't need you there. Um Ellie even goes to the mansion. I've only met out. Bella like three times, so yeah. I'm going to the mansion. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she doesn't die. The women leave. What's winter doing? <laughs> Peace. Um Same. winter is let me roll something. Distraught. Oh yeah, he's not happy. Oh. Um, give yeah, me an insight. Like a bad day. Oh, I need a nap. That's my insight. I mean, still eighteen. Eighteen. Um. Winter. Winter's leaving, but he's not. Stay. He's not going into that. Uh, he's not going into the mansion. He's not staying in the mansion anyway. Is he being mysterious again? <sighs> when isn't he? Winter. Winter's, uh... Actually, yeah, he goes into the mansion. Goes to claim a room for himself. And then from there, he's gonna pop out. Well, you're wondering, how could he do this? Right? Yes. I see your I see the tilt of the head. <laughs> How? Um Gilly, I you I don't think you've been here for a lot of these, but uh winter can just pop into the ethereal realm. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Which is Belloth's. Interesting. I wonder what that looks like today. Exactly mm -hmm. what he's about to go and find out. Oh shit. <laughs> winter, please oh. don't die. Oh please no. Please don't get murdered. <laughs> Oh, nope. he's fine. He, he, he'd he be doing the murdering. Mm -hmm. yeah. have, have you not seen the godhood he's been throwing around like a child's toy? The new one's scary, though. Oh. Fair. Fair. And she is at full strength, unlike him. Mm -hmm. Possibly more than full strength. We're not really sure. Hopefully Who can say? Smart enough to I, to I feel like that's probably Who right. Say? We'll find out. Oh, <laughs> Uh, so what what happens when everyone leaves? Damascus will kind of give a rev a not a funny look, but like a oh, I didn't realize people were staying. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> uh, and he'll just go over to Bella, um, kind of just pat her hair for a second, and lean down and just say you rest well know that we ain't gonna stop fighting for you well can't speak for new Lewin, but I won't I know things have been weird between us in the past and kind of feels like this is true in more than one sense but I ain't gonna let I ain't gonna let this go without a thought. Figure it out. Bring you back. Take care of yourself, because there are people here that care about you, alright? And he'll just put a little kiss on her forehead. Turn to a rev and go. I'm going to do whatever it takes to bring her back. Do you bring her back? Always. Hold up a fist for a fist, fist bump. bump. <laughs> and then I go and I hug him. Aww. How are you back? Feeling needy today. And as you hug me, 
um hug a rev not me hug me um and hug you too <laughs> that's just it's that thing where i lose track of where i am and where my characters are mm -hmm. um can i ask you a question there bomb Baskus. just me uh ask i don't know if i know the answer see this is the thing is it's not just you if it were just you i wouldn't be able to ask why you're having such a hard time when it's starting to be clear how much of your choices around beloth for the last few hours at least have been the actions of someone who deeply loves her. And for the somewhere FaZe throws a glass. <laughs> FaZe is not here. <laughs> the somewhere I said FaZe yeah. throws she a sense, glass. She senses it. Yeah. Like everyone's gone. It's just you, me, that shadowy corner, hey Tamina, uh in this room. And if you don't know the answer, that's fine. But maybe start thinking about what it means for your life to be merged with him. It's been a couple hours. I ain't had time to think about much. But you're right. Things are more muddled than they were before. And I might still be bomb. I might be the Damascus. They might be the same thing. I don't know. I'm just me. Trying to figure out what that means. I know that I love that angry and sometimes violent girl that just stormed out of here. I know that I'm going to get an earful when I head downstairs, when I head into your mansion, and I know it's going to be worthwhile. But he'll look at Beloth again. That don't mean I don't care about her, too. Just be careful with your heart, Damascus. Are Renanel or Callum here, or did they go to? Is it just <laughs> the two of us? <laughs> it is just Question. the two of you. Okay. Uh, Renanel and, Cal and Callum definitely went into the the, okay. the thing with everyone else, but oh, shit. Because Damascus will then say, I appreciate the advice. I feel like you'll need, you need it just as much as I do. I feel like I'm coming out okay. Uh, you know, I've had so many... I, I, I've had a win a, a win after a win you know i we got sucked out of time and space and dropped into the hells and we all emerged with a new alaywin somehow uh we saved renanel we i i got revenge for varian my grandma wants to meet my daughter who i met and that was I, I found out that I had a daughter and she's happy just to have me in her life recently. I, I've i had nothing but wins, Damascus. I know. That's what I'm worried about. Well, I mean, I know I'm not immortal. No, I don't mean that. I just mean... In stories, it's called a precipice. You ramp up 
all the good things so that it's more painful when they get taken away. But life ain't a story. Yeah, we're not. I appreciate, I appreciate the thought, but I, I was about to say the same thing. This isn't a story, though. This is our lives. And we're allowed to win sometimes, Damascus. Oh, my God. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> As in the corner, standing there is is Tamina. We were having a moment, and I'm done with it. Do you need a hug? No, she needs a hug. She Never touch hug. me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you like... dare! Don't you dare! What are you gonna do? Sick darkness on me? I will kill you. <laughs> yeah, that's the same thing. Bomb wants to give you a hug. He's saying he wants a hug. The look she's giving you right now is like, I will break every bone in your body. What if we make some sort of vow to not tell a single soul? Just the three of us will know. No. (laughs) No. No, I don't think so. Just for fun, can I take a single starlight moat and just, like, throw it at her? You can! <laughs> it's just, it's just like, it's, it's like throwing a piece of glitter at, like, a cat. They just, like, don't know what to do with it. She's just, like, got this one tiny little it, shiny spot. You, you throw the starlight moat, and what actually happens is, as it gets close to her, it it is extinguished. Well, that's no it is not nearly strong enough mm-hmm. to put up with her darkness. Like Arev just said that he knows that he's not immortal. And yet, <laughs> that's <laughs> yet. Uh, seeing a Rev throw starlight at Tamina, I go, maybe it is our time to, to, to depart. Keep an eye on her. She's she ain't doing great. You see the eye roll. As she ignores you and walks over to uh, Belloth's bed and places herself at the edge of it. Uh, you uh, go into the... Yeah, I'll turn. Okay. What I'll is everything. everyone else doing while all of this is happening? I think Gilly has been trying to distract Faza from whatever warpath that she might be potentially on, R.E. <laughs> Damascus. It's fine. Gilly's I'm got fine. FaZa playing really Scrabble fine. or something. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, FaZa's uh, cooking. No, nobody said you weren't fine. Uh, that looks great. Can I help with that? You want, do you need somebody, you need a sous chef? I'm good at that, actually. Uh, Please I don't touch stuff. anything. But what if I took the knife and I was the one that was chopping the stuff? <gasps> Oh, no, it's in my kitchen, but me. Stop, okay. Okay. <laughs> no, that's, that's great. Thank you. Nobody gets in my kitchen <laughs> but me. You can't say I didn't try. Just eat the food that I give you. Eat the food that I give you, and it will be fine. Okay? Okay. I'm making oh. dinner. That's fine. He can just. With the fucking goddess that tried to... What's fine? Whatever. <laughs> I'll just poison him. Um, <laughs> she's Lovely. Lovely oh, idea. Well. <laughs> uh, Elaine is at the table, like, listening to this. And uh, she's doing research uh, while she's got, like, a glass of wine in front of her. Um, yeah. Excellent vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rhinonel is sitting beside you. Also drinking a glass of wine. Callum's kind of leaning against uh, the counter, watching Faza work. Oh, Talon you know, is... Callum, you should help her. I mean, you're quite you good should, at cooking You shouldn't well. help her. She doesn't like help. She, she's fine. <laughs> I, I was... Quite good. I, I was okay. just here for that breakdown. <laughs> Are you trying to get me killed? Person I don't know. She takes oh, a right. sip of her wine when he says that. I don't know, but... How do you, you know I'm good. any good at cooking? I've seen it. I see. 
-hmm. Has he gotten literally any degree of exclamation about this so far? No. Not oh, really. good. <laughs> no, he's just looking Great. at this like, all he knows is, is Talon doesn't like you. Yeah, that's fine. That'll change. Don't worry. It's a good start. As you take your drink and put it back on the table, that actual fairy dragon comes over and just pushes it off the table. She <laughs> made like hands. a cat to catch he it. Hand, catch it. <laughs> he looks annoyed. <laughs> and Ren and Elle's watching this just like, mm, okay, this is, uh, oh, she's froze. She froze? She's froze. She's froze. <laughs> it's cold. She looks very happy. She's froze. so happy. That's, very that's happy, happy Friday. Freeze. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Good. Good one to freeze on. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> I was going to say, we we would probably be re entering shortly after this. Yeah. Probably, yeah. You are. Uh, you you walk into that nonsense. Is there anything <laughs> that you do? In chat, I know I froze. <laughs> Sorry. No, you look so happy. We can hear you. You had the biggest smile. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Um, Damascus is going to get something thrown at him. Uh, he'll walk in and go up to Faza. But you just say, mm -hmm. I'll walk in and dodge action. Dun, dun, <laughs> dun, dun, preemptively dun, cast dun, shield. Dun, 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 dun. And do the take the dodge action. <laughs> okay. What do you want? Uh, just to check on you. You're in my kitchen while I'm cooking. And you are wielding that knife very well. Maybe we'll talk after you finish cooking. That That's might be the smartest thing that you've ever said. Damn! When did you get proficiency in knives? All right, I'm gonna. I'll be. I'll. Whatever you make smells delicious. Look, I, I go sit at the table quietly. Go sit at the now. table smartly. Ten she minutes continues ago. cooking. Hands folded. Good posture. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectly waiting for whatever. Just like, uh -huh. I will not snack. I will wait uh, exactly for everything. Oh, no, she's froze again. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's just a happy one again. <laughs> it's good, yeah. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, it's working out great. Okay. Uh, after some time, um, she'll serve you guys dinner before you, you all go to bed and all that. Um, winter is not with you, but it's a very good meal. You you get it, uh, Damascus, a little roughly put in on the table in front of you, but, I mean, she hasn't thrown it at you. That's that seems like a an great... improvement. I hate it. <laughs> I'm, dying at, I'm dying at all of these. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Did you freeze again? <laughs> again. again. See, I was not acknowledging that she was back because it seemed like that might help. <laughs> I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna swap this out for her. Just that back. did not help. Oh my gosh, it's too good. Uh, uh yeah, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Very distracting. Yeah, it is. I keep looking down and watching this. <laughs> so, what's our plan going forward? We gotta go on a bark mission. Yeah, we we'll get the bark tomorrow. And then a stars mission. Sounds like that's in the direction of of Horn. Yeah. Fancy trip back home. We might need to go warn the. Uh, there's a name for them. I'm trying to remember what it is. Help me out here, Jess. The the, the Godlands rulers of the Godlands. In there. Oh, uh, the. The rulers of the Godlands, or the what do you mean by that? Like the kids? Yeah, the kids. The people that I had mean, the spark inside them that we were like, they're, they're, they're kids. Collective? I mean, they're or... they're the Archfey right now. Okay, the Archfey. That's the book. Mm -hmm. um, all right, we might need to eventually head to speak with the Archfey and warn them about what might be coming. Maybe it seems like our side. probably a good call. 
Um, I can probably get us across the sea. That's I got what I was. some friends. That's what I was worried about. Is near as I can tell, everybody who's ever tried to cross has died horribly. Nah, uh, you got it's an insider so connection. It's not so bad. People cross all the time. It's great. It'll be fine. Have people died all the time too? Not all the time. At least yeah. sometimes. It'll be fine. You got me. The ocean loves me. You'll be with me. It'll be great. So you'll get across at least, which is good. I mean, if we all like strap ourselves to her, <laughs> pass yeah. together with a rope or something. I'll use my tentacles and just just. There you Tentacle go. Just hang on to Otto. Yeah. Otto will be your fairest across. Comforting. <laughs> that sounds like we got a plan at least then. Yeah. How the so, fuck is winter? Is Bella like stable right now? Like she's fine. She's not gonna like die. She's just not God. Near as I can tell, we'll have to check on her again in the morning, but Tamina's with her now. So hopefully we thought like time. Do we bring her with us? That well, might be the safest to, option. We have to give her the potion right after we make it. All right. Then but, but we can't make the potion until we have stars in the sky. And we also don't want to make the potion and then give the potion if there's no divinity left for her to take. Right. Yeah, we're not sure about that whole situation. We don't have a potion yet to give, so Let's worry about one thing at a time. And we'll see how quickly evil Beloff starts causing chaos. Do we need, like, a better name for her? Like, Bo Lewin was nice and catchy. <clears throat> Do we want to... Evil Beloff is... I don't know. It, it feels Quick spot question. on. Bed Do we think that she should hear us calling her that? <laughs> you know what? That's a good point. <sighs> Beloff. Two. No, because that would have oh, like the, the... It's an improvement. E evil off. Just don't if she's as bad as a lay one is saying, if her thinking that she is the second of something, would that be beneficial for our survival? Hotter yeah. Bailoff. Bailoff. Hotter Bailoff. She would like she, she I, would enjoy yeah, that. I feel like that would yeah. It, I've yes. known enough scary films in my day. She'd love that. I don't, I don't think I should call her that in particular. She seemed like she <laughs> was the gravity type. True as it might be, it's... True as it might be? I mean... It's... What do you mean, true as it might be? <laughs> I said might. You're in I... trouble with literally what? everybody. <laughs> do you mean true as it might be, Damascus? Just that. Nothing. Hey, I, I think it's hot. Everybody knows that. That's science. You know what? I think you're done your dinner, and you've got like you've only <laughs> eaten like a, like a few bits of it. You're done. Oh, sweet extras. <laughs> she just gives it to to her. Rev. I pull an apple out of my bag and munch on it sadly. I hate your donuts too. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad for this girl. Uh, she is not handling yeah, her relationship no. well. <laughs> Oof. <clears throat> right. Conflict. So how hot do you think the original Bella is? It, that ain't the point. It's a comparison between the What do you mean two. that ain't the point? And they're both obviously not as hot as Faisa. Obviously. I think we can all agree. Well, that... Uh, Naturally, that First goes all, without saying, which is why I didn't say it. That's mm -hmm. very sweet, Gilly. Second of all, we all know that's a fucking crock of shit, okay? She's a goddess. She can look like however she wants. Well, so you also, like, you got the divinity thing. She just looks at Damascus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A lay when it's just I think like, you should sleep in your own room tonight. Sip. As as is so often the case, I would like to hide behind Gilly. <laughs> <Just gonna. laughs> 
<laughs> what she said. She's absolutely right. That's that's what I meant to say. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I have become y'all's relationship <laughs> right? mediator. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Newest. Newest relationship mm -hmm. mediator. Yeah, there we go. That's fair. <laughs> I've still you got have nothing you can't even say anything yourself Arev, because you are sitting between your mm -hmm. demon your boyfriend, two boyfriends and your, <laughs> yeah, right? your half elf boyfriend who are mm -hmm. both trying to get your attention um uh Callum is full on just taking your hand and and you can hear you can hear Ren and L breathing Lay him for is Ren and L another glass <laughs> <laughs> he's he drinks just... it no hesitation, just like, why the fuck am I in this goddamn world? I, you know, it, we, I mentioned, you know, like, maybe we shouldn't have come here, but like, also, uh, it's not going to solve anything. And uh, this arrest is very. Have, I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice. I, I know. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I didn't have a choice as he looks at you. <laughs> <Rev>. <laughs> I... No, you didn't. Who's this? This is Callum. Mm. This is the one that the Strixon didn't like. This is the one that I smelled like when I showed up in hell, yes. I uh... wouldn't know what you smelled like when you showed up in hell. I just know that he didn't like you. With someone. Yeah, that was probably Callum. Mm. Uh, Arif? What the... Um... <laughs> well, what's happening here? Yes, Arif, what's happening here? Uh, do okay. share. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this in another ten words or less. Uh... Ten words or less. Go for hey. it. Take 15, go drink. wild. Yeah, all 20, or 30. Feels like a lot of context is missing. Told demons I'd help. What demons? That's cheating. These don't count. Uh, so the two demons that I said would help was this one. Uh, this is Renanel. He's mm. very kind and sweet. Uh, grows excellent flowers really deserves a chance to be here and not running for his life. Uh, and the other one is Vic Strixen, uh, who we knew as the cunning, and he was sort of the mastermind of the whole plan, and Renanel's um, long-time eon-spanning lover, boyfriend, protector, friend? Partner. Husband. Okay. Something around those lines. Okay, so where was I? Four words. Uh, told demons... Uh, would help. Um, Stuck uh, foot in mouth. That's three words. Continue. No, that's the, four. That's Stuck not words I want to use. Oh, yeah. <laughs> four, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Pyrea slip. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Gilly. She slides the wine to Gilly. I can <laughs> count. <laughs> Um, took as it gets more wine. Yeah, a... just <laughs> passing the ball around. No, I can't do it in ten words. I've been trying. Okay, so anyways, I told I made an agreement to help uh, Vic Strixen, who I didn't know his name at the time, because I believed it was the right thing to do to offer help, regardless of who they were, and that led a long chain of events and I don't really know what happened because we like you and I Callum we we were friends and I feel like we had that that moment where we uh, yeah we, I mean we, I don't do what I did with you <laughs> with my friends so no I but I was getting this is what I'm trying to get at is we were friends and then somehow in the span of time between when I made made this deal and said that I would help the the demons in exchange for finding Inimus's soul, um, 
that there's just something missing between around that time and suddenly we were more than friends um it's like it's like something was there that was stopping us that suddenly wasn't and... yeah you you were alive <laughs> what oh, could that have been oh, I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, continue. So, what do you mean I was a lot? Okay. Um, so, everything that happened between us, Kellum, it was perfectly normal, and I, I, I love it, and I'm very fond of you, and then, I guess... I was called to fulfill my promise with the demons and I got sucked into hell and Vic Strixen said that the deal that I had to honor was to get Renanel out. Okay. So why is he jealous? <clears throat> um, maybe because before he was in hell, we were definitely, you know, he definitely had his tongue in my mouth many times. Was it many times? I would... I can't count them on these fingers. So. <clears throat> so. Okie dokie. No, it's just for all those in chat. This is still working out pretty well for me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you are being roasted. <laughs> I don't want to hear one fucking word about Gilly ruining dates ever again. Oh, right. no, 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 no. <laughs> Gilly's doing great. In, especially in Alewin's book right now. Oh, the Riz Master. I mean, well, Alewin hates a rev right now because I've, oh, I've stolen yes, her, yes. her ex-boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And, and her, her best and friend. And not even being very nice to him. <laughs> I just... Right. I, I so... want... I want... Oh, it's tough, because for like the longest time I wanted Callum, and then I wasn't getting Callum, and then Callum wanted me, and then now... Drama. Now Red and Hell's getting hurt. Um... You know, I think I'm... Um, uh... I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna leave uh, you. Wait, wait, before you do, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have something. <laughs> I have something. Um, she's gonna pull out a jar of um fallberry jam out of her bag and like slide it across the table. Like just yeah. like, uh, catches it, looks at uh -huh. it. You should have some of that. I'm sure there's some bread around here somewhere. Or, you know. That's what make you feel better. It's my favorite. <clears throat> I knew that. I mean, I'll save it for the morning if that's all right with you. What, what, sure? what, wait, while we're on the topic of me getting roasted, why do you have a matching tattoo with this complete stranger? Yeah, do any of us know about How this? should I know? Yeah, well, we you got know, tattoos. Well, yeah, why I keep do you telling know? you I know you. If you would like to roast, go for it. But I've I've given you lots of context, I suppose. I'm I'm just saying I'm getting in a lot of trouble for somebody who uh, equally has keeps sticking their foot in their mouth. Yes, clearly. I have no idea what's going on here. Callum, you know me, so does Talon. Talon can't quite figure out why. <laughs> Sorry, the chat. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, he looks at you. He's like, I, I don't, I don't. You do. How would I know that the uh the jam is your favorite? And once you try it, it'll it'll taste just like your mother's. Oh. I don't know. That was the wrong thing to say. Eleven. I, uh... 
It's not the wrong thing to say. He'll know. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go to. And he just walks off. Ah, uh, Alewin, in your timeline, his mother's still alive. <laughs> oh. I know. It, but she knows that she's dead yeah. in this timeline. But yeah. imagine somebody bringing you your yeah. like something that your mother made, and you being able to have it, and being like, "Oh my gosh, this is exactly like what my mother made." Because yeah. it's like jam that was made like, you know, like yes. a, a month ago or something. However, <laughs> you gave it to him during a period of emotional distress. Oh, yeah. When he doesn't actually know you. Yes. Not oh, wow. in a calm or nice way. She said it was to make him feel better. Because that always helps. Yeah, like when it you're, was... like when you're angry and someone's like, will. calm down. No, it was you a confusing gesture to her. It was it confused the shit out of him. Yes. Yeah, it did. It he's like, why do you okay? But this is not helping the whole situation. So uh-huh. he's just he's going to bed. He's not dealing with this. That's fair. Um oh. Since you on have... your other side, Ranel is like probably could have gone better for you. Mm-hmm. It'll help when he has it, I'm sure. I've clearly got to pull out all of the stops because Talon or Callum remember who I am. At that, uh, Talon kicks your your glass off the table again. Ugh, she made sure. And <laughs> you may catch it. He leaves to go and fly after uh, Callum, who's hurting. Uh, Rananel is giving the side eye to a rev. I would understand if you would like me to be alone tonight, Rananel. I'm, I'm, I'm just unclear as to what your goal was. My goal had nothing to do with hurting either you or Callum. My goal was to fulfill on the oath that I owed to Vic Strixen and everybody's hearts got caught up in the mix and I am happy when I am with you, but I am also happy when I am with Callum and You weren't here when Callum was. Mm -hmm. And he was here with you while you were with us in the other world there. Hmm? You mean when I was drinking the tea? Mm -hmm. Full time. When we would come and see you. No, not... Not like really. Um, when when I would drink the tea or when you would come see me, Callum was around, but we things only really became serious like the night before we fell into the hells on our own. I mean, I suppose um, figure out what you want. Renanel is also going to get up and go claim a room for himself. It is awkward. I'm glad this place has so many rooms. That's actually really working out nicely. (laughs) (laughs) Spacious. If there's not one and if there's not enough, I mean, Damascus will sleep on the couch. Would you like me to make one less? I would. About one again, he just. Well, have fun sleeping on the couch. You can come in. I will try and chase after her. Hang on. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. What do you say? 
She's got. She's going into her room. What do you say? Damascus. H hang on. What? Okay. Uh, hang on. This... What? <laughs> you're telling the girl that you're chasing no, after no, now. No, hey, no, 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 stop. <laughs> Very confusing for Damascus. No, I. You're chasing after Faza. Okay. Um. Hang on. You know I love you. I. You almost died today. And I did whatever I needed to do to make sure that didn't happen. Those things were going to tear you apart. And I saw it happen. Bomb saw it happen. And I had to make a decision to bring you back. I don't know what it means. Don't know what I am now or how it's changed me. It's been like three hours. But it don't change how I feel about you. You are amazing and smart and powerful and sweet and gorgeous. And you should know that. I do. Good. I also there... know that when you merge with that god, you kind of change a bit. And now I think that women are very pretty as well. So, yeah, I figure you're going to go gaga over Beloth even more than you already were. I care about it. I did before. No and shit. It's... That don't change anything between you and me. You are what I want. What that means going forward, I don't know. What do you mean what that means going forward, you don't know? What is it changing from what it is now? Change happens. <gasps> Things grow and adapt. Go to your couch. No. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't to say that it's going to be. Hang on. Things change and adapt and they grow. And that's normal. I'm bomb now, I think. So I'm God of growth and new things. I want this to grow, and I just mean I don't know what direction it's going to grow into. But I'd want you there with me by my side. I want us to grow together. You want what to grow? You and me. You said this. That can be misdrewn as, like, maybe you and Bella. No. Because I'm more, I swear, I, I think I'm more team Tamina. <laughs> I mean, Tamina is quite pretty herself. You gotta admit, Beloth is looker. You said yourself, you're but... starting to feel... I don't care! <laughs> okay? It doesn't matter if she's attractive! All right. I don't like you anymore! Go away! <laughs> <laughs> I actually do, I love you, but, but fuck you! I'm going to bed! We'll talk again later. But just no, know wait. that... You didn't come cuddle. <laughs> All right. Oh. I love you, darling. Whatever I might feel about Beloth, that ain't gonna change. And you, don't feel, you feel nothing about Beloth. Nothing. It's dead inside. I just said you could come cuddle. Don't and, put and, your foot in your no, mouth again. But it's so tasty. All right. Oh, <laughs> I'll, I'm, I'm going to come cuddle. I'm sure. I'm sure whatever. I just I'm assuming that I'm within 120 feet of a rev mm -hmm. as I'm walking to the room. Just go. Was it important? As I shoot a message back. <laughs> <at him. laughs> I was going to 
I'll shoot a message back and just be like, I was going to say, in case you struck out that you can come join the losers club in my room. <laughs> I think I'm okay, but. All right. I'll keep my door unlocked. A <laughs> <Appreciate> rep <laughs> <laughs> knows oh, that he's probably still going to like, it's, it's early. The mm -hmm. mask could still easily end up. So easy. Mm -hmm. So easy. Yeah. Uh, is What is everyone else doing? Uh, uh, Lightwing is yes. still at oh, yeah, the then. table. Oh. Go ahead, Carol. Go ahead. I was going to ask, do I have ocean access in this mansion? I don't think I do, do I? Okay. Never mind. Oh, boo. Go with Lightwing. Okay. Lightwing um, is still at the table since she only needs four hours of rest um and she is doing the research um with whatever she has on salt um possibly in this world uh divinity and then um like the god potion she's just kind of trying to like figure out some loose ends for potential checks later on <laughs> the salt is really throwing you for a loop yeah like sure. really throwing you for a loop and you're not sure how it like fits in every now and then you get up and go and grab like the salt shaker kind of pour yourself some shot like what the fuck <laughs> throw it over your shoulder why and you're just like i don't get it <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, salt is looks... confusing salt is salt is a, a loose end salt is a variable oh my god right ah <laughs> Okay, perfect. I'm picturing pure like nightmare before Christmas, just picking up the uh, the salt and like letting it fall. But and what does it, it mean? Does it mean? <laughs> yeah. Does it mean? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, but I think it, obviously not at this very moment. But like her goal will also be to try over, like obviously this will be over several sessions to kind of narrow down what divinity means in this world and if in fact that is what our evil Beloth is doing is absorbing the power, like the divinity, that kind of thing. You trying to would, trying to prove that or not. For that, I think you would have to actually I mean, either be able to talk to Beloth Beloth or talk to evil Beloth. Zero out of ten. Do not recommend. <laughs> <laughs> you could go okay. right to the source. Yeah, oh. right. Like, you know, and walk right into a cage. Um, yeah, okay. So at least she knows that she's gonna have a hard time with that divinity on figuring out. Okay. I'm does that does everyone kind of head off for the night other than Alewin who's sitting at the table? I was gonna grab Winter. Winter's not like, here. Oh right, he left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. In that case. Hey, can can I hang out in the loser room? Oh, oh. Body. Heck yeah. He's going to go hang out in the loser room with a ref. What are you guys doing in the loser room? Uh, first off, we have five. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I um, feel like we can just share very bad dating stories. We can just commiserate. Because that seems like a good time. Probably swap some like Gilly and a rev humor. Mm -hmm. About halfway through the night, Damascus joins you because he's stuck his oh, no. in his mouth. <laughs> Amazing. Mm -hmm. There's booze involved, I would imagine. It was like, at some point he went to Beza and was like, but I mean, she is. I just think about it, is all I'm saying. Get out! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Stop it! No. <laughs> yeah, and you end up in the loser room drinking. Mm -hmm. um... <laughs> I'm just like, yes. I don't you know what what. what, what. And um, I, as you come in, I just like wild shape into a raven and fly the whiskey over to your hands and perch on your shoulder. <laughs> foot and mouth, foot and mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's so tasty. Um, <laughs> the last I'll, thing... I'll check a watch. Oh, it's been uh, three hours. Okay, you win. You win. You get the 20 gold. <laughs> 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 uh, the last thing Elaine will do before um, she does head off to sleep is. Um, she will take out like dried um like leaves and uh, tea leaves not just like tree leaves mm -hmm. you know what i mean <laughs> like um just dried ingredients that she has in her pouch um and um blend them together and set them in like a little like satchel 
um, like a, a tea satchel basically and set up a little like tea station on the counter and um, she'll uh, take out like a little spoon that she's kind of hoping I don't know triggers like something in Talon it's just a tiny little teaspoon um quite literally a tea stirring spoon that she has in her bag and she puts it on like little saucer and she's like well maybe I don't know we'll see how maybe he will accept goes. this offering yeah <laughs> so um she's just like setting up a little tea area that's literally for Talon without being like here's a neon light this is Talon yeah, yeah. Um, when um, she'll... when you're finished that uh you turn around to leave and leaning against the door jam is a well-built but lean brunette male with scars all over his eyes. So it's going well then? Oh, uh, ooh, did not realize you could do that. Thought I had to kind of rub the cone a little, like a genie or something. Um, to find well. You're here? Sure. Well, that is something that's about the only part that's going well the rest of it is kind of not working out as planned but we're keeping 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 on as they say it's only been a few hours i'm sure everything will work out for you hopefully um are you actually there this is not an easy task going back and forth he walks over to your little tea station and picks up that spoon Ting. <laughs> picks up the spoon and just kind of plays with it a bit and then puts it back down fascinating all right <clears throat> so yes we'll um keep as positive as possible about it um how can i help at this very moment do you do you know that there's someone here sort of like you I mean I kind of did but not really and it's a little jarring is all winter yes you mean yes I am aware he is here <clears throat> All right. And uh, are you two connected in any way still or completely separate? I feel like these are questions I can ask you. If I ask him this, it'll give me that look that the others seem to be giving me and I'm not keen on it. Winter has parts of me within him. All right. Do I have anything of his in me? No. Right. Does it make it easier for me to find him? Yes. It's good to know. Does it make him blind to me? 100%. Ah, also good to note. Huh. Someone else oh, is right. here that shouldn't be here. Yes. <clears throat> I mean, aside yeah. from you. Uh, uh -huh. You're so clever. Um, yes. Uh, might possibly be my fault on that. Or are we talking about something else? Other oh, than the... it definitely is. Both of them. Uh, both? Both. Uh, uh... Well, he looks at where Ren and Elle has gone to sleep. Okay, okay. I don't know what you're talking about. I did not know that was going to happen, and now I'll uh, keep him safe. Bell off. 
your Beloth specifically shouldn't be here. Yes, I'm uh, clear. I'm aware of that. That was also not part of the plan. Now, was it? And I'm not entirely sure how she was able to uh, pick up on my scent, so to speak. You're going to have thought, to deal with her. Uh, yes, well, now she's got the sword and... Uh, You make it sound so easy. I didn't say it would be easy. I just said you had to deal with her. <laughs> Before he finds out. Lovely. <clears throat> that would be bad for both of us. I agree, but, you know, as much as I do have control over time, any idea how long that would be? I'm not exactly going to ask him. Yeah, it's fair. It's fair. All right, it's better. But just sooner I'll than let later. you in on something. He doesn't know right. you're alive. Oh, thank God. <laughs> if he did, you wouldn't be. It's fair. It's fair, all right. Um, can you answer this, then? If I do use my time magic, um, because I have not... Had access to it for a little while until very recently. Uh, if I do use that, is it will he notice quicker? Not if he's not paying attention. All right. And so he, he touches that little uh, s uh, silver pine cone that he gave you. I made sure of that. Perfect. And then we're fine. It is good because I'll need to do some of that probably here <clears throat> all right perfect um thank you for that terrifying information because if i had known that i might have just stayed and uh defeated her on my own timeline but i'm sure that wouldn't have worked so um wonderful that's great news i'll let everybody know that that's the plan to defeat her you know, rather than later. Wonderful, amazing. And she's starting to make notes again with the runes uh, about everything that they're discussing. He, there's a moment where he just watches you. And he goes, You know, this Elaine was definitely rude. What a sweetheart. All right. I think you're nicer than her, though. Oh. Well, hopefully that will help because it's not helping yet. Everything is going <clears throat> off. So we'll see. You'll be fine. Oh. All right. Wonderful. It's good good to hear i suppose um, you look up from your book and he's gone ah gods and uh i think that's where we will call the session <laughs> i think by this point the loser room has decided to do a prank that seems like something we decide to do what are you doing yeah, oh, no. do a summer <laughs> camp prank <laughs> no, i love pranking. it <laughs> Are yeah, you thinking do, of the? Do, do you want to think of the prank, or do you have an? Do you have a prank for right now? I just had the concept of. I think that we decide to do a prank. I'm not sure what. Prank to be determined for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What if we either put that a or we've come into what? the room where Alewin is and are just all like Alewin, come <laughs> drink with us. <laughs> what, that, what if? Just it's as he disappears, you guys open the door with Alewin. Lewin. Lewin, come get a drink. We're going to put a bucket a... of water above the Having door to fun. the mansion so that when winter gets back, it falls on his head and it gets wet and then freezes. Cold? So his head's in a block of ice. It's a prank. It's going to be funny. It'll be hilarious. It's a good I'm idea, not... trust me. Sure. All right. Go That's because you ain't drink enough. Here. Mm. Take it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it sounded like a great idea. Is it like, did they make like a, a mystery punch or something in oh, the yeah. user room? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, they're like, what are we oh, at our bags? Together. I have and an alchemy like... jug. 
<laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Mixed together like, like a sailor drink whiskey. that Gilly's had. It's mm -hmm. like whatever absolutely vile. Yeah. It's it's <laughs> grog plus whatever I could get out of the, the alchemy jug. Oh. I'm just like plus some like wine, seaweed in whiskey. there. Like oh, girl, I have this particular <laughs> type of seaweed. It's Kombucha. okay. I've got some dried stuff in my bag. It's gonna be great. Meanwhile, while this is all happening, they're convincing you. In waddles out of the hallway through the door, uh, a definitely inebriated goose. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, ah. <laughs> I like the ongoing thing of every time a rev gets very drunk, he turns into an animal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. We love it. <laughs> oh, there's there's geese here as well. And I just keep uh, responding to you as if you can understand me and goose. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. Oh, 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 it's a rav. It's a rav. <laughs> <laughs> For like half a second, you're like, what is this? And then you How remember did your rev did the exact same thing anytime he got drunk. <laughs> the Perfect. one canon event. That's the constant. The one canon yeah, event is when he turns into an animal every time he gets drunk. <laughs> Across the time. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Alay went all take the, the mystery drink and uh, drink it and... Uh, <laughs> Try and uh, keep them from pouring the bucket on themselves and hurting themselves as they're setting up this prank. <laughs> this you prank see that... in the in the top left corner of your screen, it says Gilly Proofs. <laughs> and uh, just as you guys finish your setting up this bucket, you, something you none of you notice other than probably Alewin is Winter reappearing in the house. And just looking at you like, <laughs> like I don't know what's um, happening. Not opening the door. Oh, man, no, we're not opening the door. Just reappearing, uh -huh. wondering what's happening, and just going to bed. Uh, yeah, <laughs> never gonna see it coming. Ah, uh, it's okay. We had our fun. Our fun was just setting it up. <laughs> no, I'm waiting for one of you to walk through it. Yeah, next. let's be honest. Oh, yeah, the you're going to walk through this in the morning. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Oh yes, it's gonna be. It, you guys can do a roll and see. Phaser. Yeah. Oh God. Oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Somebody's getting murdered. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um I'm Isony Stars and I have been your shenanigans offering. Um oh uh let everyone do the thing and then we'll talk about the um fundraiser. So Carol, sorry, I was totally like trying to cough while I'm talking. <laughs> Half away. I'm Caro. Hello. I have been Gilly Galane, and uh, I have also been a shenanigan person, but not the sovereign of them. Um, James. Hello. I'm James. Uh, I was a rev with. No, just a rev today, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and a goose <laughs> and, and a raven. But that's it. Uh, you can find me throughout the internet as Mazdrix or Mazdrix24, most notably uh, here on Monday nights at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, playing my characters with my lovely friends who you can see on screen, uh, or in Discord, which there will be a note, uh, not a note, a link in chat very soon. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. I'm going to have another chip. Uh, Dan. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Dan. You can find me as The Speed of Candy on all of the various internet places. Tonight, I have been Damascus Silver, the half-elf bard warlock, who might also be a god, sort of, and definitely has his feelings torn between two lovely ladies. It's a hard life. Oh, so he is torn. He's in love. A little. A little. Oh, I'll admit. okay. It's not good. Um, and my hero, who he will hide behind in combat and in... Uh, Romantic entanglements. Gilly, if you please. You're on mute. I already did mine. Well, yeah. I... Sorry. She just gave Pardon. it to you! I <laughs> was reading something. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. I was taking notes. I'm, I'm glad I'm your hero, though. That's fair. <laughs> that's that's fair. That's fair. Hey, everybody. I'm Pyrea. Uh, you can find me on all the socials as Pyrea. Um, I am Alewin Olympus, the uh, chronology wizard who uh, is making things better and worse at the same time. And it's it's great. It's great. Um, so, yeah. I'll circle it back to Jess. Um I already put the link in the chat for the uh, Tiltify as well. So just take it away. Uh, so the Tiltify link in the chat is for a uh, charity 
fundraiser that we are doing, not just us, but um, about 100 other TTRPG creators have come together to raise money for Doctors Without Borders to help with um, the crisis in Gaza right now. Um, we are at uh, 21K. Um, oh, we've actually just gone up to... Uh, we're 700 of that. We're almost, so we're basically almost at 22 Ooh. now. Ooh. Um, Once we get past 500, I'm like, oh, we're almost at 22 uh, every single time. Yeah. No. So, uh, yeah, it's for a good cause. If you guys could um, donate, uh, or if not, share the link because we are, oh, we only have two more days, I believe. Uh, we're only doing this for the month of January. January. Yeah. Um yeah. Um and if and if you were uh wanting to we are it's a friendly competition between our red team and our green team. If you would like to vote for the green team because they're the superior um TTRPG creators, that would be fantastic because I am also on the green team. Um or yeah. you can nah. vote for the red team. <laughs> that's my team. I heard nah. there, was actually, there was only one team left in the running, actually. I think it was just the green team left. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Check. Actually, it turns out red team. It's the red team has disqualified themselves by um just yeah. existing. Anywho, <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Uh okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Bye.